Tech for Seniors presents the website of the week with Huey Poplock. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Website of the week number 17. I'm Huey Poplock. Squish, the ultimate image compression tool. If you snap photos with your phone, the photos are usually a very large file. A 12 megapixel camera will produce a 3.6 megabyte file. A 22 megapixel picture will produce a 6.6 .6 megabyte file. Next time you need to compress an image, you don't have to open an image editor and do it yourself. Instead, try Squish, which offers a simple web interface for reducing the size of images. This is Squish. It is an app, so all of the processing is done on your computer, not in the cloud. Let's take a look. They have some samples here that you can use, but we'll, we're going to use a, a picture that I took. Here's how they explain what it is. Small. Smaller images mean faster load times. Squish can reduce the file size and maintain a high quality. For instance, they can reduce a 1.4 megabyte picture to 80K. It's simple. You open your image, inspect the differences, and then save instantly. Feeling adventurous? Adjust the settings for even smaller files. And secure? Worried about privacy? Images never leave your device since Squish does all the work locally. And that's it for their website. So let's take a look at a picture and it's let's just slide it on here. This is a 6.22 megabyte picture. You're seeing the actual picture on the left and on the right is whatever setting we have. So right now we have it to re we can resize it. So let's resize it and let's resize it down to 25% of what it is now. Because right now what it is is four, approximately 4,000 by 3,000. So now we're going to get it down to 1,100 by 864. That's going to reduce it by 98%. And let's go ahead and click the arrow here. And it just downloaded the file. Now let's take a look the difference between the file, the original, and the new file. But let's really look at the picture by opening it. And there it is. So that's the new picture, reduced. It's down to 1152 by 864. It's only 120K. And the original picture, let's open it, is 4600 by 3456. And it is 5.93 megabytes. So if we make these side by side, so you can see down here the sizes 1152 by 864. And down here is 4608 by 3456. This one is almost six megabytes, and this one is 120K. When you look at them both side by side, there's not a whole bunch of difference. Nice and clear and usable. Very quick, very easy. So let's do that one more time so you get the idea. You just drop the image onto the interface, and it opens up the editor. We'll do this, and we open it. You'll notice that it's a huge picture, and so what we need to do is adjust it on the screen so the whole thing fits. There is the original picture. Let's move it up one more. There we go. That's the original picture. Now what we want to do is we want to edit it by resizing it. Let's go ahead and change this to 25%. Make it 1152 by 864. It's currently a little over 4,000 by 3,000. We're going to go ahead and compress it by just clicking the button here to download it at the same time. It's now downloaded. And if we move this back and forth, it's slightly different, but not a whole bunch. So you can see the two pictures side by side. And when we open up the Reduced picture, it's now 1152 by 864. Nice and clear, good picture, and we're ready to use it. So there's a menu on each side. You saw this one. 
and let you choose the form of compression on the image along with additional options depending upon your choice. The split editing setup allows you to leave, uh, leave the left side as the original and while you make the changes on the right side as you work, your changes will update and you can drag the middle line to preview how the image will work. So as we move it across, we can see it's just a little bit out of focus compared to the nice crisp of the original, but uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. The site will also show you the new size of your image uh, as you make edits, plus the percentage change in size from the original. It's a sleek and useful place to downsize images without extra software. So we can change this as we want. So let's say we want it 50% by 2300 by 1700. And we can take a look. It's a little clearer. And we can change things over here if we wanted to. But this is 6.26 megabytes. And over here, we're at 95% of the original, 317 because we increase the size from 25 to 50. There's an install button. If you click the install button, you can install an app that runs within your browser. It's not going to install a program. It's going to install it with the browser, and you're able to do this directly from your browser. So it's just another choice, but I prefer just to do it using the online screen. Squish. This has been Website of the Week number 17. I'm Huey Poplock. Squish, the ultimate image compression tool.